The wind started and uh, the pelting started and the trees started coming down and it was, uh, it wasn't a good morning, it wasn't a good three minutes. We've had storms and things, but never that intense. Pretty scary for sure. More right now on that wild weather Mark was just talking about overnight. An EF0 tornado touched down in Coventry right after 4 this morning. And we sent meteorologist Connor Lewis to see the damage firsthand. He is joining us live in Coventry now with much more. And Connor, what does the damage look like there? Well, guys, the winds were maxing up to 75 miles per hour, an EF0 rated tornado, which was enough to tear down some trees. So several, up to a dozen, were able to get sheared off or broken in half. One of the trees behind me is one of 50 that were ripped out of the roots. So, of course, the soil is very wet, and you can see behind that, looks like a oak tree back there was able to get snapped in half. So we're seeing a lot of those trees. You know, sometimes we talk about damage where we're just seeing some of the trees getting ripped out of their roots, but in this in this case, it was strong enough to damage some of the branches, some of those bigger branches, as you can see. So people were waking up to alerts on their phones this morning of a tornado warning across parts of Hartford Tolland and Wyndham counties at 3.59 a.m. Eleven minutes later, a tornado touched down near the intersection of South and Puckett Streets traveling east-northeast and crossed Flanders Road. The time of night this happened added some risk to the situation, given that some people were still asleep. The tornado lasted about 90 seconds. The tornado also caused damage to power lines, but fortunately no significant damage to any homes. It was a few minutes of uh, darkness and scariness. It was just a lot of wind and then black. Just then the power, power went, went out. out. So good to hear that no one was hurt. This just continues the trend with our dreadful summer. We're seeing some more rain right now in Coventry. It's it was heavy just a second ago. Moderate rain right now. And just a, a fact for you that our tornado probabilities start to increase in May. They peak in July and then they decrease in the last September of last week of September. So this is with within the margins of when we would we would see a tornado in Connecticut. Coming up at the 5:30 hour, you'll hear more about this tornado and the damage that it caused in Connecticut. I'm live in Coventry, Connor Lewis. Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Well, certainly thankful that no one was hurt. Connor, thank you very much.